Oh, yeah. No. Mm -mm. Oh, did you want to make yourself not green? Oh, uh, I mean, it's fine. Okay. If we do it like this, it's fine. You're going to be invisible. <laughs> it's fine. Hello and welcome to Nightcap, the bi-weekly web show where friends unwind with the topics that make us hot. My name is Richard Pucci and I have the amazing joy. I'm a real everything Nickens. Hello! How you doing, Miss Joy? <laughs> I am doing wonderful this December. My God, so much has happened. <laughs> Excellent. What's going on? Look, I don't know where to end, start, begin, middle, whatever. What did we tell people that we were on? Like, did we did? Was there any type of tweets? Any type of nothing? I was gonna. I was a whole lot of nothing. So I think I think we're gonna be sending out some stuff now. I don't. I don't even. I don't even. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna reach out to Rodney. Because I feel. I feel bad. There's been a whole. Wait a minute. I hit the share and all of a sudden I'm seeing video file slides. I was like, huh? Look at that. Uh-oh. Streamer see. getting fancy. I don't rem I don't know the streamer. I don't know about that. I, I don't I'm just looking for <laughs> just looking for the regular link, StreamYard. Look, StreamYard is oh what? What happened? What what where did he go? Why is it just me? This is confusing. There we go. Yeah, I was like, why is it just me? What I, happened? I hit a button. Okay. I was like, um, excuse me, where where did you go? <laughs> these things, these things happen. I was looking for the um I was looking for the link. And okay, in looking for the link, I then destroyed myself. Oh. You axed yourself. I did. I did. Look at this. See, look, I, I go away from technology for too long, and I don't know anything that's going on. It's okay. <laughs> I'm on the opposite end. I am surrounded by technology right now, and it's just... I was going to say, you're, like, in it. In it, in it. Yeah. You it's... are in it. You are fully... I know we're all wireless, but we are wired. Yeah. There's, there's so much... Um... So many things that I uh, just got blessed with, and I'm very appreciative, and I'm very happy to have new opportunities. Nice. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. Oh, I love your jacket, by the way. Had to thank go you. It's not mine, it's Cupid's. I threw it on because it's rather nippy in here. Yeah, it's also cold over <laughs> here, too. Um this morning when I was on the call, uh, the manager, I had this on, not this, but I had my blazer, I had my business attire. Yeah. And I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I was like, it's cold in here. It's so cold. This is an old house. Like, it's old. He's like, oh, no, please. Like, don't, don't worry about it. I was like, yeah, it's, it's, I put the heater on. I'm drinking hot water. Like, it's, it's cold. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> like, yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's definitely cold. So I mean, it's December now. It, you know what? It's so weird. It's just it it just all of a sudden hit. Yeah, it's it's insane. It's definitely something where global warming. Like it's not like we weren't warned. It's just look, I know, and I've had uh, salt in my car for months. Like I've been driving around with the salt. I got my my shovel. I just got a tool, a tool kit for the car. Yeah. So I'm, and then of course, bullet, um, the maintenance light went on. So I'm like, all right, got to get that oil change. Oh. Then the freaking, the, the vehicle registration, the, 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 the inspection, like, oh, oh no. that's, <laughs> yo, it's, it's just J December, January, February, everybody get money, but me, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so straight up. But yeah, that's that's what's going on over here. Not too shabby. Not not too shabby. Yeah. 
Ooh, I was gonna say we see I see a little eyeball. Eyeball in. Hello, eyeball. Hi. How you doing, eyeball? You're my you're my favorite eyeball for the moment. What's up, eyeball? Where's his eyeball? I don't see eyeball. What do you mean? Eyeball? You don't see one? No. In the corner? You don't see one? Next to live? No, you don't see a little live no. viewers. No, I mean that must be that's also a new thing because I didn't I don't see that. Yeah, I, saw, I see a little eyeball, a little, a little eyeball. <laughs> like, you, like you from from you from Staten Island or from Long Island? I'm from Long Island. Yeah, this uh. is an eyeball. Does you, does does your doggy bite? <laughs> does your doggy bite? <laughs> can my son pet your dog? Does the dog bite? Does the dog bite? Yo, you could. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what it is about. That's like the only thing I can say like that. I don't if know you, why. If you had a TikTok, I mean, you'd kill it. <laughs> no, not at all. I know. I'm very much like deathly afraid of TikTok. I know I shouldn't be, but deathly afraid of it. It's so funny because I, I see I see like just technology in general. And it seems so effortless. And like it's so funny because it's not at all like it. It's like trends, and this is what's cool right now, and this is what's this is what people are pushing to be cool. Like it's just like so formulaic, and like I even noticed that with the the essays that I watch. I I watch a lot of essays on YouTube, and mm. like they'll go through like a topic where it's like a, you know an informational speech. And just watching it, I'm like, okay, like it's formulaic. And in my head, I'm like, I could do that. But then I, I just don't do it. <laughs> like I could do that on it on like topics that I find interesting. But usually the topics that I find interesting are like so like highly specific. That but your highly specific has an audience though. Yeah. Like you're not the only one that that go that likes the things you like. That is, you are correct, but the things that I like are so highly specific that it's, it's so, like, maybe, like, seven people would be genuinely interested. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's. That's seven people, sir. Like, that's seven people. That's more than. I mean, a lot of people have a lot of stuff in common with other people. Yeah. That's horrifying. So, your seven people would be better than. 30 people who like awful things. Yeah. But I feel you. I see what you're putting down. Mm -hmm. I see that. Um. Okay. <laughs> I, I just want to say the same thing with you, the, the technology. Like, I have almost sworn off of Instagram. Like, I have basically stopped posting things yeah. just because of that fact. Like you said, it's it seems like it's simple, but it's really not. And things got so overly complicated to me in my head that I just, I had to stop posting after the, all my podcast episodes. Yeah. I was like, done. Yeah. Don't even talk to me about posting anything else. Yeah. Then the only reason why I started posting again was because of the, of the charity streams. Yeah. You know, my fr uh, Jabba Chan and Tiny, like they did the, the stream for um, Extra Life. And, you know, that's for the kids. You know, that's, that's for the children's hospital. So, I'm like, of course I have to post about that. Yeah. But other than that, I'm like, I could just not post anything anymore. I'm just tired. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see Mr. Rodney's in the house. He says, oh, my God. Hey. hey. What's up, Rodney? Oh, my hey. God. Hey. We here. We live and in effect. I know. We're we're here. We're alive. Uh, all is well. Well, you knew Joy was alive. Um, <laughs> me, on the other hand, it was a little uh, MIA for a little bit. Um, the I was going to say the internet. Not necessarily the internet. Just life in general. Um, yeah. uh, as far as everything being sort of like crazy. Well, not necessarily crazy, but just a little overwhelming. I would, to be honest, a little bit of depression sort of hitting in. I don't know it doesn't feel like it's just regular seasonal depression. It's just, in general, it's just, just like why sort of things. Um, so that's okay. I mean, it's just, it's part of life. I'm not like freaking out about it. It's just, uh, just like uh, the little Zoloft commercial, the gray blob. And he like sees, he sees the butterfly and he's like, that's, that, that's sort of how I felt. So, um, 
So that's the reason why my internet presence uh, nightcapping hasn't necessarily been um, um, a thing. Um, mm. But I figured we'll try and we'll get we'll get there. So because yeah. sometimes sometimes that's the push that you kind of need. Um, but as far as Instagram, you talking about Instagram? I literally I was like this cl- I was this close away from uh from deleting my Twitter and I've had my Twitter for 13 years. Jeez. Wow. I um I downloaded the data. I down because you can ask them to send you all your data. I don't necessarily know if that's all the tweets. Just because in my head when I first started it, I was like, oh, because the things that I would tweet about, I would tweet what I was doing because originally oh. that's how they set up Twitter. It wasn't like, what are you thinking? It was, what are you doing? Because it was microblogging. So um... in my head, I was like, oh, when I'm like an old person, I could like read like what I was doing throughout my life based on what I posted on Twitter, sort of like a journal. Okay. Um, but as time progressed, Twitter was less of what are you doing? And it was, what are you thinking? Or how Twitter, are you feeling? Like, what were you feeling? Or just what? Trash. You, yeah, just whatever. In which case, I kind of like, in which case, I don't think very many people used it the way that it was originally in their minds intended as a microblog. But mm. um, I always sort of enjoyed that sort of aspect of it. Um, but I was like, that that close to just being like um boom (laughs) no i no no you're it's uh like i don't i won't do it to twitter only because it has allotted a lot of opportunities for me allotted a lot of like i can't believe i just said that it's it's gained me a lot of opportunities in terms of gaming stuff so i don't want to delete twitter um I also it's it is good communication for certain things and also news like just straight up yeah get to the point news but other than that uh, uh, uh Instagram has been messing up royally like I had to tag them and I don't know if they fixed it for me specifically or things are just getting weirder and a lot of people are addressing it but for my lives I couldn't if I go on someone's live I couldn't see the comments. I couldn't see the chat, like the the, mm-hmm. the comments go up and down. I couldn't see the comment box. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was about that specifically that they were like messed up my account on. And now my account is messed up where, you know how there's messages in your inbox for yeah. Instagram? There, I have like seven, but I don't know where they are. Like it's not appearing at all. Mm-hmm. And, like, what is going on with Instagram? Like, they're just destroying themselves. I, it's funny. I, like, Instagram's the thing that I, like, go on, like, maybe, like, once a month randomly. Mm. Um, I was going to say, try going on the regular desktop. I, have you tried going on desktop? No. I usually just do it through the devices, but yeah, I'll try I, it. I would say try desktop because it might be, like, some, it might be some weird, like, spammy thing that they sent you um do you know what i mean because like sometimes they'll be like oh you like, should check oh. out this thing and there will be like a dot or something i'm thinking rodney says um i'm i'm on instagram every day <laughs> laugh out loud um yeah i, uh, I, I, I am no too luck. but i no i mean i i i went on here with chrome and i'm not logged in so i'm like it's probably oh. safari and I probably yeah. have to log out of Safari because I'm just like, what the heck, man? Yeah. Junk is I'm... annoying. Yeah, I was going to say because I, um, oh, Rodney says I rarely use Twitter, but if I receive a notification, then I'm on there. Um, that's how I feel about Discord. I, um, I joined a Patreon. I was part of a Patreon for, <laughs> I think, two months. I was part of this one Patreon, and it gave me access to the Discord. I don't think they like care to the point where they're like, "We're going to delete everybody that got rid of it." I think it was like one of those things that, like, okay, if you join the dis, if you join Patreon, like, you have like legacy access to the Discord because you gave us money. Of Which course, is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, that's not everybody's going to give you money, and so I get, I. 
I don't know how to turn off the notifications. I get like notifications all the all the time. So. <laughs> I can help you turn those off. Like you need help. <laughs> I'm sure if I fig I'm sure if I putzed around with it, I could. But it's just it's just so funny. I turn <laughs> all of them. I notif. I mute all of the notifications, but I still see them on certain ones. Like I'll go through. I'm a part of like 30 plus discords and I don't, I only speak in one or two. Like, I, uh, and it's so funny because I want to love discord, but it's too much. And it's, it's like too much. And then like too much is going on because it's being part of a group chat where there could be like hundreds of people. Uh, luckily for the one, um, the one is based on like a reality show it's like a reality oh. show podcast um yeah. so luckily um it's not like extensive um so it's like manageable yeah. i don't know i, I no but... it's, it's look if, if i ever if i ever 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 if i ever gathered the uterus and the ovaries to just straight up disconnect from every discord i think i would do it yeah I just don't, because <laughs> I'm like, what if I miss out on the opportunity that I didn't get to see because of da, 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 da. and I just, <sighs> it's wild. It's yeah. wild. Ooh, let's see. Uh, Rodney says he, re oh wait, uh, Rick Brown. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, Rick says I've never done Instagram and I don't intend to. Um, <laughs> then Rodney <laughs> says, uh, he's talking about the fact that um, <laughs> turning off the notifications, yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> It, it's not it's just you you do have to go through it though uh, yeah but it's funny though because it when i do it then i just don't use it then i'm like i don't need to use it um uh rick brown instagram is uh i once read this and i thought it was really funny and i remembered it uh instagram is twitter for illiterate people <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> just pictures no just words pictures. just pictures just pictures do a hashtag if you want to um the only thing I don't like about Instagram is when it's a picture, I'm sorry, when it's a video and the video is mega long and I'm like, okay, like, I don't need you to be talking. I mean, obviously I did a live, yeah. but I posted it in the live section. I didn't post it on my feed yeah. for me to look at it for 30 seconds to find out that the actual video was an hour. I'm like, ah, oh, no. Yeah. I don't like <laughs> <laughs> oh, as as we're doing a web show <laughs> talking about technology. Yeah, just how oh. trifling it is. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Uh, I was gonna say it's Christmas time. It's holiday season. Hanukkah just passed. Uh, Kwanzaa's coming up with Christmas. Ew. I'm like, in which case, some people don't celebrate nothing. That's fine. You have a tree up or anything? Got some lights? I have a tree that I got from my old office two years ago it's a fake plastic tiny tree oh that's it that's all that's happening and we don't there's no trees we got we got plants yeah plenty of plants by my baby sweet but nah <laughs> you have you have a tree uh ooh, okay rodney says what's new with ricky uh, been gone for 50 to 11 days. <laughs> yep, 50 to 11 days. Mm -hmm. Um, Ricky is, um, thank you, Roddy, for asking too. Like, thank you. What is going on with you, Ricky? Me? Yeah, what's going on with you? No, um, uh, nothing. <laughs> like, literally nothing. Just working. Working, coming home. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think, did I do anything? I'm like, I don't think I... I think just going through the motions. Um, um, I did. Um, I had an interview for something. Um, I don't necessarily think that's going to pan out, but it was it was fun to do an interview. Um, Cupid just was futzing around with my stuff and was like, um, "Oh, I'm going to make you a resume." So because he made me a resume, I like forced myself to do an interview. So, I was, thing that, huh? I was just talking to my baby sweet about that. What? About her having a resume. Yeah, and because because he literally because he didn't um, 
because he did it, I actually sent out a, a thing. Um, mm. I don't necessarily know if I got anything or I don't even know if I would want to take it. Um, that's neither here nor there, but it was just, it was kind of fun. Um, it's like cheating. It was kind of fun to go on. It's like, ooh, you know, I'm just keeping my options open. I'm not sold on anything, which is, I'm not actively looking for work. I just, just figured to see. there was a situation. There was a thing that might have been a good fit. So um, I do have a little Christmassy area, Mr. Rodney and Rick Brown. Oh, okay. I like that. It's a baby tree. And there's a cat. Oh, is that a baby cat? Yeah, she's doing her weird. Look, she sits like that. It's really weird. Like, it looks like she's had, like, she has a bat wing. Yeah, what's up with her? paw being like just tucked up under there i don't know it looks like a bat wing to me i showed it to opal and she, she has six cats and opal was like yeah no that's not that's not normal like that's weird why is it bending it like this um well doing normal, that? normally they like just put it underneath them but she like keeps it to the side um, okay girl <laughs> yeah no she's like she's a weirdo here we go normally there's a there's a light burning bright in there yeah okay. okay yeah no just a little bit this is my lunch bag for work oh look at your kiki delivery service i know i love that movie actually since i know my niece isn't um isn't on um like watching this uh i got her the kiki's delivery service book for her birthday which is like either it's like right in, it's soon it's soon i'm bad with the exact day as you know <laughs> i mean well it's before christmas so yeah uh, i guess uh -huh. excuse me that was my one thing if i were to ever become a mother i would never want my baby's birthday anywhere near christmas like don't have my baby's birthday near my birthday yeah or christmas like it's just not good looks no, well, yeah, and you know what? And it's funny too because the two, the two, um, Malik and Julie, both of their birthdays are around Christmas time, and yeah, yeah. so as far as like it being in December, um, so a lot of times, um, they're they're a couple of days from each other. So when they were younger, I would usually split the difference and like a day in between, just go to the house and like um, like bring stuff over for them. Mm -hmm. But like now they're like now they're older and like I'm far enough removed to where it's like I'm like bonus gift in my head. Yeah, like, <laughs> like it's one of those things that's like, oh so like so um I think last year because of COVID, I uh I just gave them like an extra present for Christmas. Okay. Ooh, uh Rick says Annis is the twenty eighth. And so is my brother's. I find that so weird how I always, like, I'm like, I feel like the 28th was, and again, I don't want nobody's birthday, no one near Christmas, after Christmas, because you get hit with the whammy of Christmas, thanks, of Thanksgiving, Christmas, Black Friday, New yeah. Year's, Valentine's Day, like, it's just, it's too much. It's too <laughs> much going on during all that. I miss Anna. I gotta go down there. I gotta go down to Florida and, and see Anna, and see, uh, obviously see Rick. But like, I gotta see Anna Aww. and her and her 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 tribe, her tribe of children's down there. Ooh. Man, nah. Oh well, I wanted. Well, I was gonna ask you about what happened earlier today, but I didn't know. Oh, oh, about work. Yeah, oh, was that I okay? got called or... into HR. <laughs> yeah, like, are you are you okay? Like, is yeah. I'm, I am okay. I, um, somebody was, um, there was a situation and I called somebody out kind of passively oh. about it. Uh. And I got talked to as far as being prof about professionalism, which Yawn. is funny <laughs> because I've had people yell at me in a room with residents while higher ups were across the hall from me and they didn't say anything <gasps> so it literally just goes to show you that i got called out because of the fact that i called out somebody higher than me for not doing their job yep because if if i see like something and if i 
And if you're higher than me, and if I'm saying somebody needs to fix this issue, and then if you say to me, okay, go to so-and-so, that way they can fix the issue. I didn't go to you for permission to go to so-and-so about fixing the issue. I went to you because I have 20 something people in my room and I'm asking you to handle the situation, not for me to handle the situation. So when I passively go past the thing and say, yes, another point for non-nursing, that Ah! Ah! point for non-nursing. You need to get the heck out of that Point for non-nursing. So you need to get out of that. Especially when that person is the highest at that portion of the building. Like I went to you for you to take care of it, not for me to take care of it. Mm. It's not my job because it's not. I, I, ba ba ba. So that was a, that was a thing. Um, and I'm not, in which case, yes, professionalism. That wasn't the most professional thing, but to say that residents or anybody can hear that's a load of b- bullshit because they couldn't hear i know that for a fact because you can't even tell me what i said that's how i know that's bs because you don't even know what i said you can't even concretely tell me what i said when in which case i was just saying yes non-nursing staff point for non-nursing staff yeah in which case my mom's like you need to get out of there Yes, that's what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, that's oh it's very God. apparent that most of my unhappiness stems from that. Um, in which case, the pay is... I have medical and the pay isn't bad. And that's that's the problem, is is that it's it's just good enough, which is not good enough. No. I know. It's fine. I know. I know. Ooh, it's, it's okay. I just... But that's literally what happened. So... Girl, that that chipping away at your soul is not. Oh, oh, oh! Can I show you this? This is what I do to the cameras, and when somebody walks by, this is so. Okay, so you can't go like this, right? Yeah. That's against the law. And then you can't go like this because I feel like that's close enough. So now, so now, when somebody walks by and they like do something that's like bullshit, and I don't agree with them, and I just want to be like, "Fuck you!" I'm just like this. <laughs> just shimmying away. I just I do that to the cameras. Like something happens, and I'm like, <laughs> "That's that's legitimately what I do." Because I'm just like, like, there's too much, there's too much going on, man. Yeah. In which case, I also receive uh, while I had this talking to with um, people at my job. Um, in which case, it's like, oh, you're fantastic. You do an amazing job. You are amazing. You're so great. In which case, part of me is like, yes, I am fully aware of that. Other people need to get up to my level. And I didn't say that because that's just rude. But that's what I'm thinking of is like, you keep on telling me that I have to do more or be better. Um, in which case, the reason why I'm so aggravated and so agitated is because you have people not doing the best of their ability and then I'm feeling frustrated because of the fact that I am a good worker and blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's about all. Um, I was going to say, I, um, I've also been looking more into um, stuff with, if I wanted to teach, I was going to say, my sister-in-law was talking about how substitute pe- teachers make bank. They do. If, if, if you don't need, if you don't need insurance, like that's like, that's like, where like the money's a, at. That's a crazy amount. It's funny because she was saying how um like a substitute teacher, they'll like come to the room and she's a teacher's assistant and they'll be like, Yeah, so uh you do the thing. And she's like, Yeah, right, you get paid blah blah blah. Yeah, she, she's like, You figure it out. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that's yeah. I mean, because I had one of my best friends, that's what she was doing when she um went to uh live in with her fiance. She was doing substitute teaching for a while. And of course I was like, you do that. But I was like, I can't do it. I'm not doing that. Like, no thank you. I don't I'm care how much I'm getting shot. It's like, look, <laughs> that's why I'm like the last thing I want to be in is at a school with kids. Yeah. I and I don't. Especially the, with the way that I look and the way how tall I, how short I am, I would not want to be around all these kids. So I'm like, I'm your substitute teacher. No. No, thank you. I don't, I don't, I like to live and I like to, I like to have my peace. Yeah. And going back to high school or middle school or elementary school is like the complete opposite of that. So why would I want that? (laughs) It's funny. I could see myself in like, I could see myself in elementary school. Um, Hmm. 
like it's it's that's like where like that's where it gets complicated because I'm like I'm like I I'm like basically I'm sort of like a teacher right now, but I'm not getting paid shit. <laughs> Like, oh, welcome to the teachers. Like, yo, you've been the no, wrong. No, even, even I was gonna say. Also, in looking to see what they, it's funny because th they do a lot of. I was gonna say they do a lot of work, but it's just like, in comparison to what I'm making, yeah, it's it would be a bump for me. It it, God, it, yeah, it Ugh. would be a bump for me. No, yeah, no, I'm not. Go. Time to go. Yeah. I was gonna say I was even thinking about like just randomly because I was like ah uh, I was thinking about I'm like do I want to work at Starbucks again do I want to cut hair I'm like what do I want to do I'm you like, work in the city like do you want to do some tech stuff in the city I don't think I'm qualified I I don't believe I'm qualified to do anything I legitimately don't feel qualified to do a single thing I do everything I'm like self taught everything I like don't have qualifications I just I'm I'm a I'm a fucking mess. I'm not qualified to do anything. Everything that I've done is self-taught and I can't just like be like, yeah, of course I know. If you said to me, oh, do you know how to make a web show? I'd be like, no. <laughs> I would, because I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I just do it. Like, I don't know how to do it. I do it. It's like asking, how do you get, how do you drive to your house? I don't know. I get there. Okay. So the, the... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about though. I know. I know. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not an irrational fear. It's, tr it's, it's a real thing. I feel like, because I had a mentor, and I also felt that that I wasn't qualified to really do anything. Like, I, I have jobs. I had jobs, and I did stuff, but I didn't understand why I had all these jobs. Like, what was, I'm just working. I don't yeah. know really what it is that could get me to something else. Like, what the heck? But it was just, it's really too, okay, it really is too, right, that my mentor said just find companies you like like find places you actually like yeah like that you want to be at like don't just oh i like i like because this dress or whatever no like actually find a company that you like a corporation or whatever it is that you want to do and then just apply for it like it don't even it doesn't even matter if you qualify or not because the main thing is that you apply for it yeah and that that'll surprise you. Like it'll surprise you how much, especially now, especially now, yeah. because a lot of jobs are available. And I'm not saying this as like a Republican pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I'm saying like a lot of jobs are available for all sorts of COVID reasons. And yeah. that's how I got this job. That 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 might be how I got this job. I'm not saying yeah. COVID. I'm just saying like in general. I was, I was, well, also with, with COVID, not necessarily talking about a lot of, a lot of more people are re retiring. They were like, fuck this shit. I'm out of here, which yeah. created a more of a gap than, than before, which was something that we actually needed because the boomers were staying at their positions longer. Mm -hmm. So that's why, um, you know, yeah, I was going to say that's, I uh, saying that it could be COVID reasons could be valid. Um, I was going to say, so talking about work, uh, not necessarily talking about my rest in peace work, but how about you? What's going on work-wise? Are you prepared to talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, my first day was yesterday. Um, my This whole 2021 year, I was just not trying to work for anybody. Like I was straight up not in the mindset at all to go back because I had a job yeah. and then that job was like you know going through whatever foolishness that was they were going through and of yeah. course the covid and people are not going in the studios and they're not recording and they're not in person so that was a lot going on so i i was fine at home yeah. chilling but then unemployment stopped and then i was like well i need to find a way to make money and then i was like well i can do this full time but then I really didn't know. I still don't really know what this means to do full time. Yeah. So then luckily during the summer, I had a mentor. Uh, thanks to gaming. Thanks to black girl gamers. Um, I had a mentor that works for Facebook, which again, you that's probably another company you actually need to be working for. But um, Facebook, we were doing a collaboration and stuff. And, and she was giving me advice and like telling me to like do certain things. 
and definitely gave me a lot of advice in terms of like being vulnerable because I definitely was like, I don't know what I'm good at. I literally do not know why I'm doing anything like besides this job. I hate, I don't like this job. No, I love the job I was at. Like I enjoyed it, but I was like, other than this, like, what am I good for? Like, what the heck? So she was like, again, let's start at the beginning like figure out what you want it like because I'm so much into a niche of like I know I like this and I know I like that but I don't know how to make them go together or what should I do yeah so I just had to let go of the negative and bad things that I kept holding on to in my head because of what happened to me at that other job and I was like oh you know I don't want to not say I don't want to be hurt again but I didn't give myself time to heal yeah I just kept going and going and going and going and ignoring and and, and distracting myself. So then um, I was hanging out with my cousin and my cousin, um, my cousin's wife, we picked her up from her job Mm -hmm. and I never really asked what she does. I didn't ask her where she worked. I, I I don't, if I was ever going to have a job, I always wanted to get it myself. It's because I got it, not because I got it through somebody else or whatever. So, you know, her my cousin and I were talking about how we had no jobs and cousin's wife was like hey so what do you do and I wasn't prepared to be asked that question I was like girl I do stuff I'm poor so I just saying rattling off what I could think of oh I did this I do that I do this I do that it's like oh just give me a resume and I was like okay so I gave her my resume and a couple days later she sent me a link to this company the career page it wasn't like I'm giving you a referral. Yeah. It was like, hey, here's this particular company. Here, you might want to look there. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So I went through I went through three jobs, like three applicate, like just to see different positions. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't expecting back to hear from nobody. Yeah. Because I was like, I literally I think this is what I could do, but shoot. And my mentor said, like, as a woman, one of the main reasons why we don't get anything is because we don't apply for anything. So, like, you have to be, like, in the mindset of a man. Like, men get a lot of jobs because they applied for them. And it's not even (laughs) that you're not qualified because the thing that we all have is that you are a quick learner. Yeah. Screw not having the qualifications. You can get taught the qualifications. Yeah. So it's not just like, oh, I'm not qualified. Or and, and the same with, with women back again. Women, if we see that the qualifications are more than what we have, we won't apply for it at yeah, all. Yeah, because because of the fa- yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, no, like you don't think they're not gonna teach no no matter what kind of job you're walking into, they're gonna have to teach you the ropes, they're gonna have to teach yeah. you something. So yeah. don't be afraid to apply for the job. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> And then I got the job and I wrote, I have a whiteboard next to me. I haven't erased it yet, but um, when I got the interview, I wrote myself three lines on this whiteboard and it says, be yourself, relax. Because I was so scared about having to change myself, change my personality. Who's going to like me after that last job where I was my most authentic self. Who's going to like me in, in whatever position. But I said to myself, be yourself, relax. Second line was, you got the role. Yeah. Because I've never seen, the only time I ever see any positive confirmation that I got something has been from someone else. And I had to see the words written for myself that I got the role. And the third line is, you are worthy and enough. Yeah. And I never seen that, those words directed at me. So I felt like I need to write it down and actually like read it. And I said those things before I got the interview and then I did it before the interview and I said it again for the other interview and then I got the job. So started yesterday. Things are going well. That's what my mom was. That's why I was on the phone with my mom because she was calling because I hadn't called her from the first day and she was like, how was it? So um, yeah, so it's now I'm back in the workforce and it's a good great. It's a it's a great group of people. And it's a, to me, it's, it's a cool, really cool company. And it's definitely something that I am qualified to do. Yeah. But it's literally so far, it's like, do you know how to operate Zoom? <laughs> that's that. Like, that's what it is. Like, it's, it's straight up Zoom and, yeah. and Microsoft Teams. 
that's what I'm doing. Like it, yesterday, my training was watching how to operate Zoom. Like that's what it was. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know Zoom because yeah. I paid for my own Zoom license. <gasps> Rodney! 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 I can't believe Rod yo, Rodney. Rodney has a job. Yo, shut up. I'm screaming. It's almost like I'm streaming. Rodney! Yo! He's I was like, gonna say, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why don't what you bury the lead? Oh, me? No, no, no. Him. Rodney. Yo, Ro- Rodney, what are you doing? What I- is your job? <laughs> Congratulations! Are you doing IT? Are you in sales? Oh my god! Uh, oh, let me let me say that too. I'm a I'm an audio video technician. That's what I'm doing. I can now say that and be like I can't because last time, like Saturday, I was oh okay system Ooh, admin. Sis, that sounds sexy. That sounds Rod- expensive. Ooh. That sounds sexy. That sounds expensive. You got money. You got money. I was going to say soon. You about to have some money. Soon he's going to be a senior system admin. Yes. Yes, he is. That sounds, that sounds luscious. Blessings. Blessings. Oh, my gosh. Because my, my whole thing was I was – I couldn't – I don't say I couldn't tell anybody, but yeah. it was hard, especially because, you know, the last two years I've identified myself as an audio engineer. I'm an audio engineer, and now I'm an audio visual – a vi- a audio visual technician. I'm an AV technician, which I never thought I'd ever say. I was gonna oh, say I oh. love it. I love it. I was gonna say I love a help desk. I love a help desk. I called two help desks today. Look, <laughs> you better come through, Rodney. They're they're the ones. They're the ones that help me get my stuff. Like I had to get equipment, be delivered to this place, and who who was delivering it? The IT. <laughs> who if if stuff breaks down and stuff don't work, who do I call IT? So thank you. I'm saying, I'm saying, man. Uh, Rick, 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 not Rick, but Ricky, it is coming for you. But you got to get out of that. Oh my God. <laughs> you helped six six people. Six. Yep. Just. I had doubles. I had uh, two teams were doubles. Okay. Oh God. If anything, like I've been hanging out. Well, yes, I've been hanging out with my mom. Um, the last few, the last few weeks. I mean, you've seen last time when we were speaking. I was like, I'm with my mom. Like, literally. yeah, I was. Yeah. What a what a plot twist. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. So um, much of a plot twist. I. I I was gonna say I always hoped and thought and wished, um, just because sometimes time is needed. Um, doesn't make it right, but sometimes time is a thing. But yeah, yay! oh yeah, it it definitely, um, it's definitely not to say like we're all shopping and buying clothes and whatnot together, but it's definitely way better than yeah. what I thought it would be. And my mom actually like like wants to talk to me, so I'm just like, heck yeah. I was gonna say each each inch can be a, a, a mile, you know. Yes, it it, it is a blessing. Like it, it really is because I I just was like, hey, oh, I should say this. I, I guess because you know my dad said it, and okay, so um, I signed up for Beat Shazam. Okay. Like months oh. ago. Yeah. Yeah, months ago, and I didn't, you know. Didn't think anybody would even care. So someone actually got back to me about that. Beat Shazam. <laughs> and they were like, oh, you want to audition the next day? And I was like, sure. And I picked my mom to be the partner. Yeah. So I had to drive to the house and do the audition with her. Yeah. And it was fun. Like, I recorded it and everything, like, on my own stuff. Because I was like, when am I ever going to do this again? And shout out to Bibby. Because Bibby was the one that was like, girl, aren't you going to record it? And I was like, yo, I forgot. I was so nervous. So I recorded it. And we did it. And then we didn't go forward yeah. with it. But we, it's the... Did they offer it or no? They offered it. But they didn't offer it with both of us to go forward. Yeah. they. So the thing about Beat Shazam is, like... You know, it's it's two people that you, yeah. you do it, and in the in the rules, not the rules, but in their suggestions, they're like, "Oh, you should have multiple people 
just in case they didn't like one of them yeah and that's what happened between us and i was like no this that's is a not... package it's a package deal yeah and we killed like i mean murdered that audition like the the songs what was she and that's what i and that's what my mom said was like I, you guys had it we had too we had too much like the way that it was was like i was good at all the stuff that she didn't know and vice versa so you know i was like it's their loss whatever like yeah. i'm not doing this without my mom she's not doing it without me and you know there's no ifs ands or buts so all i did was just say you know no thank you yeah. and i sent the lady an email saying like hey if if this was ever a thing like but just to just know that i'm not doing this without her and she's not doing this without me so yeah. You know, that was the thing that I was like, man, that would have been so dope if we were on that show. But eh. so we got to I got to find another show for us to be on in the meantime. <laughs> Supermarket sleep. Yeah, we could. Oh, my, yo, my mom with the way that she is losing weight, like she could be on some supermarket sweep. Shoot. She goes through them. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. I was going to say, I don't because you with the shopping cart, you wouldn't be able to control it. With, yeah, it's with too much. Thirty pounds of meat. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do thirty pounds of meat. You yeah, couldn't. I. Uh, it'd be a lot. It'd be yeah. stressful, and I don't. I don't need that stress in my life. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to. Um, I, I oh, oh, and again, I'll say this because it's wrapping up of my mom. Um, so we were, we were actually in the area last Saturday because of a surprise birthday party, and it was in uh near the beach area and I was sitting with my parents and they just came from the city and I was like oh my god and this and that so um my mistake where I was ordering presents but I sent them to the house yeah and I was like I gotta go get those presents but I'm gonna be in the area again next Saturday because I have to I stacked the booster shot and MRI <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, Bibi and I were going to be in the area. So then Bibi was like, oh, you know, maybe, of course, you're going to, like, go swing by your house and stuff to get the presents. But, like, what if we, like, go out to dinner with your parents? And I was like, look at you! So then I was, like, I was so afraid to ask. Yeah. And then I just decided, you know what? Uh, and you heard that conversation where I was just like, oh, I'm afraid to ask. But, like, do you want to go out to dinner with Ting and I? And she's like, sure. And it wasn't like... It wasn't like a sure. It was like sure. Yeah. Why Where not? are we going? And I was like, yeah. I don't know. Wherever y'all want to go. Like, yeah. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, was gonna... Yeah. I think it's because I have a new job and I have benefits and stuff, and I'm almost <laughs> making as much as her. Like, yeah. if it wasn't, I think if it wasn't the job situation, mm -hmm. I don't. I. I'm. I, I mean, obviously, God, whatever. But I'm just saying, like. Maybe because I'm doing better <laughs> is why she's like, all right. I don't know. Uh, you know her better be than anything. me. It could be anything, but I'm it, just like. Yeah. Or time. Or time. Time. I'm, I'm a time person. <laughs> I mean, it, it is like my mom has talked to her. Like we've, yeah. we've all been on the phone together and she's heard like she's ta they've talked to each other. So it's not like she don't know yeah. her by now. And, you know, they've exchanged fruits and yeah. stuff so you know i was gonna say in which case um the thing that i always think about is like you know your child you know if you had a good child so if you have a good child they're probably going to hopefully pick a good a good partner and if they're doing well then you know that they did you know yeah so, so just leave your child you know in which case for every instance where that's true then there's like somebody that's like hey i have <laughs> that's not true but um you you have a good partner so yeah. you, don't have to, you don't have to worry about that um i can't believe it's already it's already time look at that dang that tap, that rap, that was just so fast yeah i was gonna say well you and rodney boom killing it look i i love how rodney says it now but like he didn't put it in the discord which you know thank you thank you rodney thank you i appreciate that. that yes thank you for saving it until our nightcap so that yeah. we could be you know excited because wow i was yeah. i was gonna say um nightcap boom we did it um yeah 
I was going to say, I always, I guess I'm always sort of like wondering like, okay, well, what, what's the next step for Nightcap? And I don't know. I'm just always thinking about that. And I think sometimes that could even be paralyzing itself. I don't know. I just, big question marks, but um, thank you so much for, for joining us. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. You have anything else you want to add? Um, I mean, well, we've been doing this. This is your brainchild. So, again, I don't want anyone to think that this was mine only. Like, I want to do this because you're the one who was like, hey, you want to do this with me? And I was like, hell yeah. Like, Stop it. You're going to make me blush. No, but that's the thing. Like, and I always, and y'all know this, but, like, I always want to give credit where credit is due. And, like, I would not have been the kind of person that I am if I didn't have Nightcap to, like, get me on a consistent level of doing something yeah. as much as it's like hey we're we're back like it, you know like but this has taught me to have a consistent schedule yeah. to know that no matter what the heck we could be talking about on any given day people are going to show up yeah. one way or another and to always be appreciative of the people that are here yeah because always. you you don't you never know so this is this is something again like i'm I'm open for whatever suggestions. If and again, if you want to just do this by yourself, like you no, can do that. No, 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 no. I, uh, I like, I, I like, I like where we're at. That's not even in my. I, I'm always sort of wondering. I'm like, okay, format, less format, more format. My, um, and if more... you want to make this a podcast, I mean, we could do that too. I mean, it's it's definitely been a thing for sure. Like I can, oh, yeah. you could do that. I was going to, it would be so easy if we even, because I don't know if you've noticed, it's very common for, for podcasts to record via video and to release as podcasts, like. Which yeah. is what I was doing for almost two years, bro. <laughs> like literally. I, I know. And I know that it would be very easy for me to just rip the thing and then to, to find either a cheap, uh, either a cheap distribution yeah no i i yeah sir i, I already have one i already have a thing <laughs> I can, you don't even literally you don't even have to do anything because <laughs> i can just do this off a of zoom record bing bam boom put it on um freaking uh what's the thing i use uh audacity no not, well that but like not audacity it's the it's the distribution um what is it what is that noise <laughs> It was was that you or was that me? That was probably that was me. definitely not me. <laughs> it was it was one of these it was one of these technology things over here next to me. It was like do 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 do. Uh, it's the um. Hold on. Oh, I just logged out of my. Did I? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my for god. Laughing. Gosh darn it! Where is the thing? Oh, oh my god. I'm confirming that I'm going back on Instagram because I have the two way blah blah blah. What is this thing called? It's the, uh, I swear when I see the name, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be like, this is the thing. Acast. Jesus. Gosh, darn. Okay. Oh, it submits to eight different places. Yes. Like, all we have to do is record. And I'm saying Zoom. I trust Zoom because that's how I was doing my podcast, where yep. we just record on Zoom. And I record. If we wanted to do it multi, multi uh, audio, multi level, multi, whatever that's called, multi track. <laughs> Stereo? Well, I haven't been I haven't been in the studio in so long. Something. What am I trying to say? If you want to do multi track, that's a whole different thing. But like, we could do that too because we have two tracks. But I can do that because it's just the two of us. But if you want to do one simple thing, like we can do that where we keep yes, keep it light, chill, and um, <laughs> and I'm reading the thing that you said, but also the same thing. We could do that on on Zoom and have it on Acast and distribute it, and that's all we would have to do. Like. We could do that. Look, I'm telling you, 2022, is that what you want to do? Nightcap. <laughs> and we can, we know we're not dressed up. We don't have to obviously be on the camera, but like people no. will listen to us. Like yeah. it'd be a thing. Yeah. I'm saying, look, and again, you wouldn't even have, well, you have your, you have your new Mac, you have your new laptop, but I'm saying like, if you don't have a, you don't even have to pay for it. Cause I'm paying for the, for the zoom um, pro thing. So it's it's like I already have access, and if you, we wanted more people to come on, I it's it's no limit. Like it's yeah. it's not like anyone's gonna cut us off. No one's gonna um 
yeah so again for real like yeah. we got the we got the power okay yeah. we have i was it. gonna say we have the will i or i think once the will is had then it's it's not a question it's just the will yeah and it could happen like we don't have to do the, the, the stream yard thing like if you really do want to like broadcast it we can broadcast it but yeah. for the most part well, I think, see, part of the, the thing that I always liked was I, I always liked the rod. I always liked the live audience aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so and that can happen. Like, yeah. that can happen on Zoom, too. Like, if and I'm only saying Zoom because I pay for Zoom. So that's I'm yeah. like, <laughs> Zoom! But... <laughs> Especially because I don't pay for StreamYard, which is the reason why we have the duck in the corner. In which case, thank you, StreamYard. This has been sponsored by, powered and sponsored by StreamYard. Yes. Sponsored, but... not sponsored. If we wanted to have people be there, like we could definitely have it open. Like we yeah. can have an open thing or like a um, a, a, not a webinar, but <laughs> they have options. So that's okay. why I'm like, I we could do that. Just you know, let me know, like for real. And I'll I'm like, all right, let's record, and I'll send you the I'll send you the file because I always send the files. I'm like, I'll send the file through yeah. whatever I forgot the name of the file transfer or whatever it's called. Um. Again, this is stuff from my yeah. last job I was doing. So, yeah. I was going to say, worst comes to worst. We could always do a pilot. So, yeah. Like, yeah. and then look, we can make up the, like you said, the, all you, and you know what? It might work that way more because all you would do, if, unless you want to do it yourself, but just send me <laughs> the song. Like, send me the MP3 of, of Nightcap. Nightcap. Place to go. Yeah, send me both of those things, the beginning and the end. Yeah. And all we, I would do is just smash them in between what we just did. And that's it. Like, that's yeah. that's the that's the show. That is legitimately the show. Yeah. But, yeah, Rodney and Rick, definitely chime in with this, though. Because if you would obviously want to be there during this, then, yeah, you can definitely be there. And we can open it up for people to yeah. come in and come through to have a live podcast. But for the most part, yeah, like. It'd be good. We could do that. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's uh. I'm gonna hey. marinate a little bit. Um. Let that just state for a little bit and see, see how we how we feel about it. Yes, please. And again, take your time. But also, that would be awesome to have because it would be the song playing in the beginning, and then I would fade it out, and then we would talk the whole time, and then talk to ricky and ricky obviously uh, rick and rodney and then we would go back and then it would fade into the all right see you later bye and then you'd have the ending of doom doom yeah. doom 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 okay i'm saying it wow I'm saying it i wasn't even class i wasn't even qualified for that and look how that turned out yeah okay rodney thank you so much oklahoma yasmin asai uh, um boom thank you so much rodney and uh rodney and rick and shout out to uh, those that couldn't make it, uh, in case they make it a little later. Uh, yeah. Enjoy you. Um, we're gonna. Uh, congratulations to Joy and Rodney and and me for doing interview. You guys, we all rock. I yeah. was gonna say yes. Let's get it. Not everybody's getting it. We're getting it. Oh yes. All right. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. Getting oh no. It, getting it. We're 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 getting it. Excellent. We're getting it. 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 We're Bye.